Welcome to Workday HCM Event Management. In this session, we'll discuss how to delegate and reassign tasks. We'll also review how to correct, cancel, and rescind in progress or completed business processes. The business process framework drives actions throughout the functional areas in Workday. Depending on the business process type and its requirements, security group members can initiate or participate in business process events. You can view or edit business process security policies to indicate which security groups can delegate and reassign tasks to other workers. Additionally, a business process security policy displays which security groups can cancel, rescind, or correct business process types. For example, administrators may need to cancel a termination event or correct a hire event. Once you understand who can act on a business process, there are also several ways to find in progress and completed business process events. The Find Events Report allows you to use facets to search for a specific event in the system. If you participated in a business process, you can find the event in the Archive tab of your My Tasks area in Workday. You can also navigate to the Worker History tab of a worker's profile to view business processes about that worker. Since all tasks remain in My Tasks until the tasks are completed, reassigned, or delegated, it's important to know how to view and find events. There are times when workers may not be able to complete a business process task. When these situations arise, users can delegate or reassign tasks to other users so workflows can complete efficiently. Delegation allows workers to delegate business process tasks to another worker's My Tasks for a designated period of time. While this enables a worker to perform tasks on behalf of the original task owner, it does not remove ownership of that task. The original owner can still take action on any delegated task. When the delegation period ends, any incomplete tasks return to the original owner's My Tasks. In the following example, Brian Sullivan is taking some time off and needs to delegate a task to Don Myers. First, Brian will navigate to the My Tasks to view any incomplete tasks. He notices a task to delegate. Then, Brian selects the gear icon. From the menu, he selects Delegate Task. Finally, Brian enters any required information, including the proposed delegate, Don Myers, and selects Submit. Once the delegation business process completes, Dawn Myers can access the delegated task by selecting her profile picture and then the Switch Account option. The Switch Account option displays any worker who has delegated tasks to Dawn, including Brian Sullivan. Once Dawn selects Brian Sullivan's account, she can access his My Tasks to complete the delegated task. In the Process History Grid, any tasks that Dawn completes will be recorded as Don Myers on behalf of Brian Sullivan. It's important to note that security is only evaluated for the original owner. Therefore, a worker who normally does not have security permissions to complete a task will temporarily be able to do so if it's delegated to them. Alternatively, users can reassign tasks to another worker when those tasks are no longer their responsibility. Unlike delegations, Reassignments permanently change the ownership of a task from one user to another. For example, if Beth Blue moves to a new position in a different department, she'll need to reassign an old task to the worker filling her position. To reassign this task, Beth can navigate to the My Tasks and select the desired task's gear icon. From the menu, she'll select Reassign. Next. Beth will enter the proposed worker and any reassignment reasons and select OK. The reassigned task will display in the proposed worker's My Tasks. Business process administrators can also reassign tasks on a worker's behalf using the Reassign Tasks task. Sometimes, managing events includes reverting or updating a business process workflow. 
Therefore, it's important to know how and when to cancel, rescind, or correct a business process. When you cancel or rescind an event, all data is restored to the prior state before you initiated the business process. Additionally, Workday will cancel all pending tasks for that event. While canceling and rescinding business process events accomplish the same objective, you should also understand the primary differences between the two. You can only rescind events when the process has an overall status of successfully completed. In contrast, you can only cancel events when the process has an overall status of in progress, such as active items in your My Tasks. In both cases, any security groups with appropriate permissions can perform these actions. However, a worker who initiated an event can cancel but not rescind the workflow. You can access both tasks from My Tasks or by locating the desired event and determining the process's status. Select the events related actions, then business process to select the desired action. Since the termination in this example is complete, you can only rescind this workflow. Anytime you cancel or rescind, the system requires you to include a reason. Once you submit this action, the business process history will indicate that the process is rescinded or canceled. You can cancel or rescind most business processes. Additionally, you can correct business processes if information entered during the process needs to change, such as a worker start date. Similar to rescind and cancel actions, there are no business process approvals for this action, but you are required to add a comment. To begin, navigate to a worker's worker profile. Select job and then the worker history tab to locate the desired event. You can correct both completed and in progress business processes. Next, select the events related actions, then business process to select correct. From the correct business process page, you can make any corrections to the worker's data, such as their start date, once submitted, any corrections will display on the Corrected Data tab on the Events Process History. Because the business process may trigger other processes in the system, sometimes an out-of-order correction is necessary. You can correct most staffing events out of order as long as the change does not affect a worker's organization or position. When you make an out-of-order correction, Workday displays supporting information that lists later staffing events, moves, and reorganizations in a worker's history. This allows you to determine the impact of the correction so you can fix later events if necessary. In this session, we reviewed how to manage events by delegating or reassigning tasks to other users. We've also reviewed canceling, rescinding, and correcting business processes. Thank you for taking the time to learn with Workday.